Hello everyone, Alex here with another short video and today I wanted to share how I import custom fonts into Clip Studio on iPad Pro without using iTunes. Okay, so I hadn't realized that there were a lot of you out there that hadn't uh, figured out how to do this. So I decided to show you how I do it. Uh, just a quick side note though, before we begin, uh, on my iPad Pro I, I have Clip Studio Pro, not the EX version installed. But that's not a big deal because this works on either versions of Clip Studio. I do, however, recommend that you close Clip Studio if you have it open while, while you're installing fonts. Um, if you forget to close it, it's not a big deal, but you will have to restart it in order to for the fonts to show up. Uh, the apps I'm using to install fonts are AnyFont, File Browser, and for unzipping archives, I use iZip Pro. Um, you can use any um, app that you want as long as it performs the same functions that these uh, that these apps perform. The links to these apps will be in the description. Okay, so let's say you just purchased your fonts or downloaded fonts from any uh, website and you have them saved in a zip file to a cloud service like Dropbox or iCloud. What you would do is you would need to unzip the font if they're not unzipped then uh, open up file browser and locate the fonts select the one that you that you want and choose share uh, choose select copy to any font the font will appear in any font and the app will prompt you to tap the icon to install it tap on the font icon you will have another prompt pop up telling you that this website is trying to open up uh, to, to open settings to show you a configuration profile you want to allow this click allow and click on install and you may be prompted to enter your passcode again uh, do so if it does on the next screen it reminds you that this configuration profile installs a font and then gives you the name of the font in this case uh, I'm using comic crazy by comic craft the next one lets you know that the profile is not signed click install Click install again. Finally, click on done. And that's it. Your font will be installed. And uh, once you open up uh, Clip Studio, um, you will have your font installed. Not only Clip Studio, this installs it on any, it installs it on your on your iPad. So any software, any program that you open up, the font will, that has uh, text uh, um, input available, um, it will be there. So just repeat the process for the rest of the fonts and, uh, and that's it. Alright, I hope this was helpful to a lot of you and uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.